Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you a very important soloing technique which is called grounding. So very often I see young men playing guitar solos like this. I see people trying to play as many notes as they possibly can because they think that it's going to get them a goal, which it won't. They don't know where they are. They don't know where they are in the structure of the solo. They don't know where they are rhythmically, but they also don't know where they're going on the fretboard. And I see them going up the fretboard like this and then hitting wrong notes. And to be honest, it's just terrible. So with grounding, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some chords from a key. And first of all, you're going to play the chord, the root note, and the scale starting in the simplest form, which is pentatonics. If you can't do that, you should not be trying anything else. So we go chord, we go root, and we go scale. That's it. So the next chord we're gonna do is going to be C. So we're gonna go chord, we're gonna go root, and we're gonna go scale. Okay, now onto G. Chord, root, scale. Now we've got D. Chord, root, scale. So that's the first combination. Right, very, very common to hear that. So again, E minor, chord, root, scale. C, chord, root, scale. Onto G, chord, root, scale. And then we're gonna go to D. Chord, root, scale. Now we're gonna add in one more, which is gonna be the minor second, A minor, chord. Root, scale. So that is your exercise. You are going to go round and round and round using those chords and ground yourself. You know that if you hear this chord in this key, you're gonna play this note and you're gonna play this scale and you're also gonna play that chord. So the next step is that you are going to listen to a backing track now. And the very first step on beat one, you're gonna play the chord. That's what you're gonna do. So as the backing track plays, you're gonna hit that chord on beat one. And if you can't do that, you shouldn't really be trying anything else. Okay, so you're just gonna keep doing that. And so, you know, as the track is playing on beat one, you're gonna go two, three, four, let's assume it goes to C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And when that becomes easy, you now you know where the chords are and what the chords are. Now you're gonna hit those root notes. So all we're gonna be doing now is hitting that root. So E minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, 
for, you notice I did a combination of doing the notes in the open position and then the notes where I was going to start the scale. It's probably good to do the notes where you're going to play the scale, right? So the most convenient place to get a good solid two octave pentatonic scale is going to be the way that I just did here with the start position. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now, are you able to do that? Are you hitting those root notes, bang on the beat? If not, you have to keep doing this step until you get it right. And then the final step is to play the scale. You might need to slow the track down to get at least an octave of the scale in, or you might need to just do like a shorter version of the scale. So maybe you just do, let's say, we're doing the pentatonic minor, but try and get at least one octave going up of that scale and you've got to start bang on beat one. Okay, that's it. That's what you need to do. So the final step, you're gonna play with the backing track and you're gonna play those scales in those shapes. That's it. If you can do all that, then you're in good stead to play better solos. Okay, I've found a nice G major backing track which uses all the chords that we just talked about. G, E, C, D, that's step one. Keep doing that until that becomes easy. And now root notes. And as I play it, G, E, C, D, tap your foot, move your body, nod your head, whatever you've got to do to feel that beat. And that is how you do grounding. Do not deviate from that until you've got that down to a fine art. But there are two things that are really important. So one of them is that you understand the fretboard really well and you know where your notes are. And the other one is that I was constantly moving my body, right? You gotta be tapping your foot, moving your head, or swaying in time with the music, or a combination of all of them. You've got to feel the beat. And you've got to be really enjoying that. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. <laughs>